Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. When you've finished making your score, the next thing you're going to need is a set of parts. Luckily this is easy in Sibelius. At the top of the screen in the toolbar is a drop-down menu. By default it says Full Score, but when you click on it you'll see a list of every instrument that's in your score. Choosing one of these instruments allows you to jump straight to the part for that instrument. So let's jump into Violin 1. You can see the chords there at the opening and then you can see a four bar multi-rest where Sibelius has counted the bars rest and put them into one. It's also included anything from the score which is relevant to the violin part such as the tempo at the start and the title but also things which are specific to the violin part such as its own dynamics and if this went for multiple pages it would even make sensible page turns. If we go back to the full score we could insert the start repeat bar line that we haven't yet added to the score it's just about the only thing that's missing. So we go create, bar line, start repeat and add that in. Now we'll use the drop down menu to go back to the violin one part and we can see that that will have been added in the violin one part too. In fact it's even broken up the multi bar rest to allow two bars rest before and after that line. While we're in the score, we can jump quickly to any one part with a shortcut. I'm going to click on a note in the cello as if I were editing it, and I'm going to type W, which is the shortcut to jump to parts. I immediately jump into the cello, and the same note that I was editing is even highlighted so I can carry on working in the individual part rather than the score. I'm going to type Command T to add some text. I'm going to write Play This Smoothly, and then I'm going to press W again to jump straight back into the score. You can see that Play This Smoothly is added at the same part of the score, meaning that you can work in your parts or in your score and the other will be updated automatically. Let's jump back into the part and look at offsets. If I offset that text by dragging it to the right, I can put it in a different place in the part but it draws a red line to its original point in the score which does not change. This means that you can move things around in parts to avoid clashes without affecting what happens in the score. Going through your parts and checking them for clashes is probably one of the last things you do when you're working in a project. Jump to each part and check that it's ready for printing. And when it comes to printing you can click on this button, the parts window, or go to window then parts, and you can even change the number of copies of each instrument that you'd like. For instance, if I've got 14 flutes, I can simply type that in there and when I press the print button, I'll get 14 copies of that by default. I can even set different copies, numbers of copies for each instrument and print them all at once. So, as you can see, parts are easy in Sibelius.